Multi-short answer questions require respondents to enter a list of answers into individual input boxes. In multi-short answer questions, all of the input boxes relate to a common answer set. This distinguishes multi-short answer questions from regular short answer questions. Fill out the general fields, as described in the Common Elements tutorial. When taking the question, learners will see a list of blanks after the question text. By default, there are three blanks for the learner to fill out. For this question, we'll reduce this to two by changing the value in the Input Boxes field. We can also change the size of the input boxes by adjusting the number of rows and columns. Next, enter all of the answers to be accepted as correct. By default, there is room for three. We'll add two more for this question. The learner can enter any of these answers in each blank, and it will be counted as correct. Note that if a learner enters the same answer in more than one blank, it will only be counted as correct once. The weight field determines how much each answer is worth. This value represents a percentage of the question's total point value, which in this question has been set to 2. To give each answer equal weight, divide 100% by the number of blanks the learner must fill out. Here, this works out to 50% since we're providing two blanks. This is the value to enter for each answer. To award part marks for a certain answer, enter a number less than this value. If you enter a number higher than this value, learners will be able to score greater than 100%. This may be desirable if you want to give bonus points for certain answers. The evaluation heading provides several options for how the learner's input will be compared to the correct answer. The different options listed here are described in the short answer question tutorial. The check answers button is used when creating answers with regular expressions. Using regular expressions is an advanced topic covered in its own tutorial. If desired, enter a hint and feedback for the question as described in the Common Elements tutorial. We can now preview the question. The upper portion of the preview shows how the question will be presented to learners. There are two input boxes, as specified. Learners may click the icon beside each box to check their spelling before submission. Below is the information that will be given when grading. This is simply a list of all acceptable answers to the question. When satisfied with the question, click Save. Multi-short answer questions are ideal when asking learners for a number of responses out of a large set of possible answers, and the order of their responses is not relevant.